Now we are going to work on Kicho. It's the tango dedicated to Kicho Diaz, who was the, uh, the double bass player of the Quinteto Tango Nuevo of Astor Piazzolla. He was one of the most wonderful uh, double bass players in the history of tango. And um, uh, this song, this tango was uh, written in uh, 1960 around. So we have here the cadenza. In this part, we had to be really consistent in the, in the way we arrive to this uh, F sharp because the phrase goes there and then goes back again. So. like to make this six, sixth note, double string, with a crescendo. Then the glissando, down, there, with no finish, it goes like uh, like smoke. And then we have the rhythmic section. We have to play it like uh, we were talking before with two slur and two staccato. In this case, we always make first slur should be accentuated and the second one less. And the staccato should be in a bow. So we have glissando to the F and then me and then gliss glissando to the E. Here finish this section. Then we have a cantabile, should be, this is the melodic part of the tango, so it should be really expressive and also uh, phrased. It should be, it, it, it has not to be played like a... You understand? It should be played... Uh, phrase it in this way. chromatic descending, we have to mark it, it's important. This is important, this, this change. something was forgotten.
now begins the tango with all the group. We can begin now the tango with a percussive beat and this section is a rhythmic section. Uh, should be played to slur and to staccato. Uh, let's begin. Let's show it. like uh, we were studying before, so we have to be very rhythmic here. Marcato, like always. Then, now we have a variation here. It's a five bars variation that uh, finish with this uh, part of the song. And then we have the, the new part, the melodic part, the theme, the B theme. <laughs> Now, what continues here is the B theme. This is the melodic theme of the tango um, and should be played really expressive with the phrasing we were working. Um, this is the phrasing, it's not like it's just written. We can make some notes shorter and then the other one more longer. So, we, this is one of the most beautiful melodies um, written by Piazzolla um, for double bass. Uh, this part, uh, we begin uh, alone and then we have uh, in, in bar 40, 41, uh, we are in duo with the, the violin. So we should be every time together listening each other. So let's play it. Thank you. 
back to the rhythmic part. After this uh, repetition we have, uh, we have a section that should be played uh, with pizzicato or we can choose to play it uh, with arco. Let's, uh, let's try it. So for the final, we have this um, section that we we found this uh, three three do uh, two three three two. That that I found uh, found really useful to play it, uh, two down bow and one up, just to be more, more percussive, more rhythmic. Um, then we have uh, this section. Uh, it needs to be played also, three, three, two. One bow down, two up. And then two, one, and one. So. This is very important. So last time uh, we have the for the for the finish for the final of the tango we have uh, this insistence in. The theme, the principal theme, the rhythmic theme. Uh, so we have to be really emphatic here. Interpretation, this uh, vision, my vision of this uh, piece of this tango uh, should help you in in any way. So we finish here with the with the soloist role of the double bass in tango. Thank you so much.